Hello and welcome back to Violin Gurukul. If you remember, we were learning our mir techniques, how we can develop our mir and build a dominance and control over our mir. If you have watched our last episode, I showed you one technique to develop your mir. In this episode, I will show you another technique or exercise which will help you to build a control over your me. But before starting the episode, I must remind you that you should practice those me first then come then come to this uh, episode because if you keep skipping or keep jumping on episodes or our new contents that we upload you won't learn and uh, learn the basics and it will create a loophole in your journey of violin so i recommend you to uh, do those exercises really well and then come to this part today i will show you how you can straight land on one note it's just like a gunshot when we keep practicing uh, until we get our target straight so in today's exercise we will land on one note or we will shot one note in one slide so today's exercise is sare we will use our these two fingers and one tip for you guys if you have sweaty palm or sweaty hand you can use a, a baby powder or a soft talc which will help you with your sweat because i really have sweaty hands so i use a johnson baby powder which is a baby powder you can use any baby or a soft powder uh, which will create a smooth surface on your fingerboard so you can easily slide your fingers on the fingerboard so today's exercise is sa re sa ga you have to get that re and ga in one slide one straight slide not breaking or stopping in any other note or any other shrutis so the exercise is make sure your instrument is in tune because it will help you to get your placements right if you, your your uh, violin is distuned so you will face problems with the placements because our instrument is blind we do not by the term blind i mean that we don't have any frets to uh, recognize our notes like sitar or guitar we our instrument is blind because you can see no frets here we have to rely on our ears to find the notes which is really helpful for your ear because you also get a ear training a training so I got straight into the re without stopping in any other note not after the re or not before the re straight into re you can keep a support of your first finger beneath your second finger this will create a support so you can easily land on those notes and you can uh, practice your mir because blindly or just only with one finger you cannot uh, rely on the mir because you have sometimes you have to play uh, such phrases which will end in Uh, the previous note you can uh, then you can just switch one finger so you have a support so it's best to keep a support always straight 
straight to ga not in any other notes now sa pa this is a bit tough because i'm sure uh, till now you have figured out the place of ma and ga and re but when you are switching fingers your second finger is not really uh, 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 what i say it's not really familiar with the ma note your second finger is not so familiar with your ma note so you have to do that practice uh, practice like straight to ma to get it familiar with your ma, ma note sa pa that's a really big slide a long slide from sa to higher octave sa to figure out that distance how much force you need to pull your hand till sa it uh, at first you will find it difficult to stop it uh, distinctly in sa so you have to keep practicing practicing that gunshot till you reach to sa If I come back, so I will play sa 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 ni, just the opposite sa da sa pa sa ma sa ga sa di sa. complains with your tonal quality that when i play it sounds different and when you play it sounds bit odd uh, why there should be some problems uh, with your fingers that you don't press it the way it should be pressed like you don't give your full force or full pressure on your fingers there there is some air between your fingers and the and the fingerboard so you have to exclude that you have to give full pressure on your fingers while you do the meet uh, at first you will feel a, a sensation uh, in the tip of your finger but you have to keep practicing so that sensation feeling goes away now just like this string you have to practice this exercise in all of your strings let me show you how you will do it in your pa string your a string where you play pa dha ni sa similarly from pa to pa now similarly we will come back this is the exercise meer is a very uh, uh i must say a very important concept in your hindustani classical music if you want to get your meer really smooth and uh, really melodic you have to practice it because these practices are for uh, for uh, a lifetime i learned it from my guru so you have to keep practicing practicing it to get it right and get that amount of melody in your meet because it's really hard to get that uh, 
a beautiful melody in the violin uh, because at, it's the instrument itself is really hard but if you make it uh, the instrument you accept your instrument and keep practicing on your instrument it will surely lead you somewhere till then stay tuned and i'll see you in the next episode